Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dean Harp Realtors. Well, I got an out-of-state client looking at the house that you see behind me in the community of Bernie, Texas. And uh, this is a small section in the Esperanza community where they have what's called garden homes, a little bit smaller lots, smaller homes, and the landscaping is taken care of by the HOA. Let's go check this house out. Now this house was built in 2019 by Sitterly Homes. When I was talking about landscaping. You see a little similarity between all the houses. They all got similar flowers planted in front of them. Uh, the HOA will come out and maintain these. Definitely kind of geared toward uh, people who are only going to be here part of the year. Um, but the HOA fees in this small communities is $710 a quarter. So it does cost uh, to have that convenience of someone taking care of their house, their lawn for you. Anyways, this house is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home. And the current asking price is $535 as of early October 2023. All right, let's head on inside and check out this beautiful home. All right, you notice we had to walk up the sidewalk. This is a side entrance house. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. It definitely gives you advantage of the layout of the home. All right, let's go check this out. Now, right when you come in, you notice that yes, this was a prior model home for Sitterly. So they got some of the extra stuff done in it that you won't find in your standard house. And I really do like the way the cellar decorated. It's kind of cool. Um, this is not a big house. This is about just, it's 2,050 square feet. So not very big, but that's exactly what my clients are looking for. Got some really fancy dancy shutters over there. Really nice use of space in the kitchen. So this is a pretty good sized kitchen. Very nice sink. One is a little bit bigger than the other, so it's not a true 50-50. Now this is kind of a textured granite. So this is ornamental granite, but it's got some special coating on it. So it gives them a little different texture. It's kind of cool. Got your cooktop over here. Let me get the light on. There we go, that's better. Microwave up top there, and here's your pantry. I've noticed quite a few really wide doorways when I was walking through this house. Interesting for a model home. And I'll point those out a little bit later on as we go through. Dual stacked ovens, which is very nice. Got your breakfast nook space over here. And uh, because of the shape of the kitchen, you see, it's kind of angled, so they've got it decorated to where everything is angled here in the main living space. So beautiful windows, giving some really nice lighting in the main living space. Now I mentioned this is a garden home, so this is not a big lot at all, but they've definitely done a lot with what they have, extending the patio, which yeah, if you're ever not happy with the patio that comes with Builder, you can easily just kind of a uh, extended this is not regular wood this is that uh, engineered fiber wood so uh it's gonna last a lot longer but i was talking about lot things um this fence is the lot line i don't know if you saw when we came up this lot this fence ran right on the side of the garage so you do not have a side yard on this side of the house but this is a green space lot you've got some beautiful trees behind you um, but you do have the road for going through the middle of Esperanza right there. You're not going to have a whole lot of heavy trucks unless they're construction trucks. We are kind of in the front part of the community, so you are going to have some uh, traffic there as you heard drive by before. But man, they have taken care of this lawn really, really well. St. Augustine grass, just the level of work that they've done. Uh, making this landscaping look great. Nice look at the patio area. Let's see what direction is this facing. West is on the front of the house. So there you go. We got, you can see some of the cars driving there. 
Well, my clients have all the information. They're coming to town uh, next week. And this one, the house that they're really interested in, I did just talk to the listing agent of this house and they did just accept a right of first refusal offer on the house. Um, but what that, don't let that freak you out. What that means is they have the house under contract, but someone else can still put an offer in moving into second position. But uh, the offer that's on that they have not got their house they have to sell their other house first and the house just came on the market. So for my client, you're definitely still in the running for this house if you're interested in it uh, because this right of first refusal is definitely gonna be the way things are going right now. Everybody's wanting to move, but they're having trouble selling their house first. All right, let's, on this wing of the house, uh, you do have a bedroom that they've used as an office. So yeah, if my client did want to jump on this house, he definitely could put an offer in. And the people who have it under contract right now will then have to be able to uh, purchase the house or cure the contingency on it, meaning they have to get that other house under contract and closer to closing. But a beautiful kitchen area. Uh, Getting tired of talking already. Uh, bathroom area here between these two bedrooms. Going to the other bedroom. They got the fancy dancy shutters in this room as well. Really nicely done. Show you the closet space. Eh, kind of standard closet space. These are not eight foot doors in this house. Uh, which, like I said, this house built in 2019. A lot of the newer houses will have uh, eight foot doors. But your powder room. This is coming into the two car garage. The sellers are in the process of moving. So of course you have a lot of boxes. And I tell my clients that are selling their house, no one cares. They understand you're moving. So the boxes are there. But you do have a water heater. And this is on gas. Got some steps coming down. So yeah, I don't wanna be a little tipsy and come out in the garage and take a little nose dive. But well, you'd only do it once, that's for sure. Laundry room right off the garage. Good size laundry room. All right, let's head around the corner to the master bedroom. Once again, nice kitchen, love the white cabinets. Nice little living space there. All right, coming into the master bedroom. Got some engineered hardwood floors, tall tree ceilings, nice shutters, a beautiful bathroom in here, love the tile on the floor that's really nice and elegant. Dual vanities, one on the other side of the shower. Big, big soaking tub. And once again, I mentioned before, the wide doorway, some really wide doorway openings for the uh, toilet. So yeah, if you did have a wheelchair that could go in there really easily. And same for the closet. Your other vanity, your shower. It's a nice light they got going in that shower. In the master bedroom closet. Got the two rows of uh, hang up space on each side. Very nice. So it's a really nice house. Uh, just for over, like I mentioned before, just over 2,000 square feet. And uh, like I said, the big difference is, yeah, these HOA fees are going to be higher in this house because you have uh, HOA taking care of the lawn for you. So uh, they call it like a turnkey type home to where, yeah, if you're traveling a lot or trying to go up north during the winter time, summertime, uh, your lawn will be taken care of for you at, at a cost. 
All right, that's gonna do it for this home in the community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas, built by Sitterly Homes in 2019. If you got any questions or interest in this house, feel free to reach out to me. I'll make this video public if my client decides to pass on this house. And then, uh, hey, if you're interested in buying a house in the area or look for a real estate agent that does videos like this, I'll be happy to help. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and of course, I want you to share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. <laughs> Bye.